Here are why the Denver Nuggets are the team to jump on, not just because of their scrimmages or their regular season, but because of the future, the Denver Nuggets' future. The Denver Nuggets are one of the most unique teams in the entire NBA. And their first scrimmage game against the Washington Wizards without Bradley Beal and basically the rest of their entire lineup shouldn't be an indication of how the Denver Nuggets will run going into the rest of the season. With Nikola Jokic running at point guard, Bol Bol playing 32 minutes and having 8 3-point attempts for a guy that's seven foot two, running the floor and hitting threes in the eyes of the Wizards, that isn't something to expect going forward this season. But what is exciting, and the reason why the Denver Nuggets are the team to jump on, is because going forward into the future, that is a possibility. Maybe not Nikola Jokic running a point guard, but the Denver Nuggets running a lineup with Bol Bol, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray all at once, that is what's exciting for the Denver Nuggets. And these scrimmages are a way to look at Bol Bol and look at how great his potential is to see what he'll do in the future for this Denver Nuggets team. Because clearly it was just an experiment. The Denver Nuggets will not run this lineup going into the future. Jamal Murray will come back and he will still run point. Jokic will go back to playing as a facilitating center. And Bol Bol, like Michael Porter Jr., will most certainly remain on the bench playing behind Jokic and Plumlee this season. Of course, we would all like to see Bol Bol play for the rest of the season. We'd all like to see what he'd be able to do and if he'd be able to make an impact. But we've seen what the Denver Nuggets have done with Michael Porter Jr. And if you expect they're going to change because of Bol Bol having one good game and a few amazing plays in scrimmages, I think we're all just going into the hype train a little bit too much just because of how exciting he is on the court. But that doesn't mean the Denver Nuggets may never get up to that point. And so this is why the Denver Nuggets are the team to jump on going into the future. Now before I get into the video, I just want to quickly say I hope you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel and I really need your support. Obviously I've been trying to rebuild my channel for a few months now, I took a long break and my channel has suffered because of it. I really need your support whilst this NBA season is returning, I'm trying to upload videos on this channel to get the channel rolling up again. I need your support though. If you enjoy my videos, please help me out by hitting that like button. If you are not subscribed and you enjoy NBA content every single week, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But the main thing I would love if you guys could do is hit that notification button it will just notify you every time I upload a new video but just by hitting that notification button it would really help my channel out and without further ado let's get into the video people always talk about the young core of the New Orleans Pelicans and the Memphis Grizzlies yet many people forget about the Denver Nuggets simply because they're already so good and they're still at the same young age as those two other teams when you look at the New Orleans Pelicans, they have Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram at age 22, Zion Williamson and Jackson Hayes at age 19. So obviously they're the young core that many people are ecstatic about simply because they're so exciting to watch with their fast electric style of play and the number one pick in Zion Williamson. Then you go over to the Memphis Grizzlies, Ja Morant and Jaron Jackson at just 20 years of age with Dylan Brooks 24 and Brandon Clark 23 and then they also added in Justice Winslow from the Miami Heat, a solid defensive player who's improved on his offensive game but is still just so young at age 23 he has a chance to develop even more. And then of course what we're talking about, the Denver Nuggets, with Nikola Jokic, 24 years old, and then Bol Bol and Michael Porter Jr. at 20 and 21, and even Jamal Murray at age 22, the same age as Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram, who's shown that he's become a very good player already, he just needs time to really improve on his game and become recognizable in the playoffs, because that's where his game will be really built on. What he's able to do in the playoffs, on the biggest stage where it really matters, that's where we will see the true potential of a guy like Jamal Murray to become one of the better point guards in the entire league. Right now, Jamal Murray is a good point guard, a solid point guard for a 22 year old. But can he become one of the better point guards in the entire league? I believe it all depends on how he performs in the playoffs alongside Nikola Jokic and then in the future, building up with Michael Porter Jr. and potentially Bol Bol, this Denver Nuggets team will be scary to watch. The one thing that separates the Denver Nuggets from the other two teams is that they're going to have playoff experience. 
not only in the first round, but probably in the late stages of the Western Conference semi-finals or conference finals. They also have a max spot after this season as well. Once they lose Paul Millsap's $30 million contract and Mason Plumlee's $14 million contract, that opens up $44 million with those two players alone off the books. And they may be able to acquire someone this year in free agency or in next year's free agency, or even look for a trade to acquire a star player or an all-star player with the asset they currently have on the bench because that would make the Denver Nuggets an even better team with so much potential in the future. Another reason why the Denver Nuggets look so primed for the future is also because of what they've been able to do this season alone at such a young age. The only negative is basically because of NBA fans wanting what the Denver Nuggets are not providing. They're not providing Michael Porter Jr., which is one of their top prospects of the future and a player who has the potential to become a future all-star in this league. What the Denver Nuggets have shown above all else is their ability to win without using their young potential prospects. The one thing that you can say about the Denver Nuggets is they take major precautions with their players. They set out Michael Porter Jr. for an entire year. They've also let Bol Bol run in the G League where many other teams would have just let them ride on the bench and see what they can do even if they weren't 100% healthy or ready for the NBA. The Denver Nuggets have been able to win but have also allowed their young players to develop and become healthy to give them some longevity for their careers in order to reach their potential. I'd love to base my next statement on facts and statistics, but I don't think I can. Michael Porter Jr. is not a player that we've seen much of in the NBA. He's only played 14 minutes per game, but he was having a really good run to end the season before it got cancelled. He had a stretch during January where he averaged around 25 minutes per game and had some really good scoring nights. But then came February and he started to play a lot less minutes once again. His abilities haven't translated on the court simply because he actually hasn't played that much on the court. He was meant to go as a top 3 pick if he was healthy, potentially top 5 or top 10, but he fell out of that race and he fell to the Denver Nuggets who took a gamble because he was injured. But from personal opinion, I still rate Michael Porter Jr. as one of the best players of that draft class and once he starts to get minutes and starts to actually play in the lineup, I believe he could be a transformative player as I've mentioned with Luka Doncic, Trey Young and DeAndre Ayton who are all in the same draft class. But what's also scary is that the Denver Nuggets don't need him to be that great. They just need him to perform every night because they already have Nikola Jokic who is that transformative player. They've already got Jamal Murray who is a potential multiple time all-star. So if they add Michael Porter Jr. and he can reach his potential, that will be scary. About three years ago, I made a video on him compared to Kevin Durant, and I still believe that he is a similar player in a similar mold to KD. He probably won't be as great of a player as Kevin Durant is because KD is one of the greatest players in NBA history, whether you like it or not. In the same mold that Kevin Durant plays, I believe that Porter Jr. can be a great offensive player that can score from anywhere on the court and can be a very damaging player, but he just needs some momentum, some confidence, and some minutes on the court, which the Denver Nuggets will be scary if they can add Bol Bol with Michael Porter Jr. But as of right now, heading into the rest of the season and going into the bubble, the Nuggets are still the third best team in the entire Western Conference. They're just one game behind the Los Angeles Clippers and they've matched up well against the Clippers and the Los Angeles Lakers so far in this year's NBA season. And if you really break down who the Nuggets have lost to, it becomes quite convincing that they are the team to watch this playoff series. The Nuggets have only lost 22 games this season. In those 22 games, 17 teams have beaten the Denver Nuggets this season, 7 of those teams are not in the playoff picture, and 10 of those teams are in the playoff picture, with the Denver Nuggets beating all of those teams at least one time. They've lost to the Dallas Mavericks twice, the Lakers twice, the Boston Celtics once, the Brooklyn Nets once, the 76ers once, the Houston Rockets twice, the Memphis Grizzlies once, the Thunder once, and the Clippers once, and the Indiana Pacers once. And surprisingly, they've had the most trouble against some of the teams that are not in the playoffs, such as the Cleveland Cavaliers, who they failed to beat, and the New Orleans Pelicans, who they're 1-2 against. To end off the regular season, they still have to match up against the Dallas Mavericks, the Lakers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Clippers, which will be very exciting, as they have the chance to tie up the season series against the Dallas Mavericks, the Los Angeles Lakers, and a chance to win the season series against the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Los Angeles Clippers. 
But if you eliminate all the teams from the Eastern Conference, then you only have a few teams from the West. Obviously the Pelicans, Kings and Warriors are not in the playoffs, so that leaves the Mavericks, Lakers, Rockets, Clippers, Thunder and Memphis to be beaten. Now in a playoff series, it doesn't look great that they've only beaten the Dallas Mavericks once and they've lost twice, the Lakers once and lost twice. The Rockets are an interesting team because the Rockets have done the opposite of what Denver's done during the scrimmages as Denver's gone ridiculously tall and the Rockets have gone really small. But you would expect that the Denver Nuggets could beat the Memphis Grizzlies and the Oklahoma City Thunder if they do match up against those teams in the playoffs, which leaves the Clippers, Lakers and Mavericks, which is why the end of the regular season will be very interesting to watch as they have a game against all three of those teams before reaching the playoffs. But this video is not necessarily about what the Denver Nuggets will do this season and more so looking into the future of this team because that is where the Denver Nuggets really shine. Sure, they have a chance to win the championship this season, although unlikely there is still a chance, but what's exciting is the future of this team. What do you think the Denver Nuggets will do this offseason with the max spot and how far do you believe they will go this season? What do you think about Bol Bol and the rest of this young core? And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like to show your support, subscribe for NBA content every single week and hit that notification button so you never miss an NBA upload. This has been your Morning Smith. I am out. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.